All right, check this right here. It's nice. It's good. All right. Looks pretty good. Okay. Tight enough? Yeah, that's good. You okay? Yeah. All right, feels good. Yeah. Everything's right here? Yeah. All right, Larry, can you hear me now? Yeah, Dad. You get me loud and clear? Yes, sir, loud and clear. Are you about ready? All right, guys, here we go. Let's bring it up. Okay. okay. All right, honey, just straight. There's 60 foot mark right there. Yeah. There's 40 foot. Okay, okay five, four, three, two, one. Lift off, lift off. Oh. All right, honey, you're beautiful. Okay, take that big breath now. Karen, you look great, Karen. Real good. Now just keep your arms bent. Okay, I'm doing it. All right, all right. Okay, now I'm getting the mouth here. Right for tomorrow. So, yeah. Oh, you look great. <laughs> okay, now look. Starting to drift out over the water now a little bit, so we need a right hand turn to get you back towards the beach, honey. What? Honey, you're not responding. Dad, what's going on? Larry? Karen, honey. All right, look. Look, I think you're going to take a swim now. What? When I tell you, you take a big breath and push out. And then grab that D-ring when you hit the water and cut yourself loose. All right, you ready? Here you go, honey. All right, push out. doing okay for a minute. Why were you watching me? I always keep my eye on a pretty girl in a kite. Just in case I gotta save her life. You didn't save my life. Maybe not. But you're lucky I was watching you. Karen, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, stop fussing over me. Here, get this out. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. okay. All right, yeah, looks like you're fine. Thanks. Yeah. Mel Nichols. Richie Valenti. My son Larry Richie. Dad, I'm really cold. Can we go? Yeah, here, honey. Larry, take her out there. Get a get a blanket on her. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Hey, what's your name? Current, that's all. I mean, it can happen to anybody. You got your egg roll at 12 o'clock, your vegetables at 3, your fried rice at 6. 
next time she might not be so lucky. Mom, come on, lighten up. Here we go again. Johnny, you know how much she wants to do this. We've been over it and over it. We gotta let her take her knocks. This is more than just taking knocks, Mel. We have been over this and over this. It's real dangerous. Not that many sighted people go hang gliding. Mom, it's not that dangerous. The worst thing that could happen happened. I got wet, so what? That is not the worst thing that could have happened. What if that boy hadn't been there? I can swim, Mom. I'm not helpless. You're not exactly superwoman, either. Okay, guys. Um... <clears throat> Let's, uh, let's just drop it until we've eaten, all right? We'll talk about it tomorrow or something. Yeah, sure. So you can avoid the subject? You mean I got in? We just received a letter today. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm going to college in New York. This is fantastic. <laughs> of course, an out-of-town school will cost more. Well, my parents have been counting on putting me through for a while now. That's wonderful. Now you should really think seriously about the daily living skills class. Yeah, I'm planning to look into it. Want me to sign you up? Oh, that's my brother. I better go now. I'll see you later, Barbara. No, think about that class, Karen. I will. Larry. Yeah? Do you have to be such a jerk honking your horn like that? Watch Sorry. out. Yeah, well, when you drag me away from band practice, you don't even have the courtesy to wait outside. Wait a minute. I called Mom, not you. I didn't know you were practicing. Watch your stick. Yeah, well, neither does anyone else around here. Where to? To the shop. Enrique called. He said he had a surprise for me. He wouldn't tell me what it was. That's the emergency? I'll make it worth your while. Translation? I won't ask for another ride for a week, OK? Yeah, just put it in writing. Here we go. So you're having fun with the band, huh? Yeah. I just wrote a new song. It's called Chauffeur Blues. Well, it's kind of for Poe, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We're here. OK. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, see you later. Don't, don't slam it. OK. Bye. I told you the cut is still too dark. Who are you carrying? Hi. I'm mad at you. Why? I've known you since you were a cheeky thing this high, and you don't even let me know when you get a boyfriend? Hmm. What? This guy named Richie. Who? Richie. He's called a half a dozen times and sent you these beautiful roses. This guy's in love. I, I don't know anyone named Richie. Karen, come on. No, really. Oh, yeah. Karen, don't pull a phone you know? Enrique. Yeah. I, you got to do it again. The color is off. Dad, did you see my flowers? Um, yeah, I did, honey. Uh, something a pretty girl like you has got to get used to. Honey, you don't need this in here. I don't want to see it. Hey, Mel, um, Tyson Pharmaceuticals called up. They have a rush job. They want to know if we can handle it. Okay, I'll talk to him. Then I gotta talk to you. You got a ride? Uh, can I wait for you? No. Uh, call Larry. He'll come get you. Okay? Dad, I want to... Honey, I'll talk to you tonight, all right? Take care of that. Don't mind him. It's just that a new printing firm has just moved into the territory. And he's got to keep our regular customers happy. Okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, telephone. Hang on. Mel Nichols Printing. Hi, this is Richie. Oh, hello, Richie. Just a minute. Oh, yeah, Karen. It's the boyfriend you don't have. Hello? Hi, Karen. This is Richie Valeni. Do I know you? Yeah, the guy that didn't save your life, remember? Uh, how'd you get my number? Well, that's a trade secret. You like the flowers? They're beautiful. Great. Listen, um, I was hoping maybe tonight we could have dinner, see a movie. I'm sorry, I'm busy. What about lunch tomorrow? I, I can't. Um, thanks for the flowers. But I'm, I gotta get 
off this phone. I can't tie up this line. She's crazy about me. Everybody. Bye. Bye. Karen? Huh? Hi, it's Richie. That was great with the kids. Um, you were watching? How come you didn't tell me that you were blind? Uh, how'd you know where to find me? They told me at the print shop. It doesn't matter. I would really like to take you out. Truth is, I haven't stopped thinking about you since we met. Sure. Here, I brought this for you. Oh. Anyway, I would really like to take you out. Um, no, I, um, I don't think it's a good idea. Hey, Karen. I don't have anything against people who can't see. You got something against people who can no. Well, then, what are we talking about? Seven o'clock, okay? Um. Tonight. Fine. All right. Okay. You want me to walk with you a little bit? Um. Okay.